Hello, we are returning to the format of reacting to a subreddit, for I can only make, at most, four videos before succumbing to my inner Redditor. It has me by a chokehold, and it will not let me go. You all already know this though, so let's just get into the intro. One day, I'll be free, but today is not that day. What can be defined as mildly infuriating? It's a question that is yet to be answered, since every day that I scroll through the mildly infuriating subreddit, I see people claiming that their newborn getting crushed accidentally by the garbage can is mildly infuriating. To me, mildly infuriating is scrolling through Reddit, and infuriating is scrolling through Twitter, which is why I've since deleted it off my phone and now only use it on my desktop like a caveman in order to feed my addiction for rage. Today we'll be perusing the mildly infuriating subreddit, if you couldn't tell by how many times I've said it already, and determining whether or not something is actually mildly infuriating. To be honest, some of you just need to get over yourselves. Do you realize how chronically online you have to be to have something happen to you and then immediately think, hmm, I should post this on the mildly infuriating subreddit. Seriously though, uh, let's just get it. I'll be right back. Okay, so. <laughs> there are three federal agents outside my home right now. Open up! Shit. I swear to God, every time I go to record a video, she starts misbehaving. Don't you look at me like that. If looks could kill, let me tell you. <laughs> She'd be dead right now, right? <laughs> if I wouldn't go to jail. <laughs> Someone stole my $100 Amazon package and left a nearly empty glass of alcohol in its place. I'm so mad, lol. I forgot to bring it in last night and woke up this morning to it being gone. I guess that'll teach me to leave that sitting out overnight. <laughs> At least they left you something in return, right? For me, as someone who's never drank before, seriously, I don't drink. I, the most I've drank is like half a bottle of Corona. That could get me tipsy-turvy real quick. What is that, scotch? One, one, one little sip of that, and I'm gonna be, oh my god, guys, I'm so drunk right now. It's like when you give the new girl in the ro blunt rotation a hit, and they're, they're like, whoa, I can like so tell I'm high right now. Guys, I'm like seeing things. Linda, how many times do I have to tell you, you do not hallucinate on marijuana? If you are, I think you're gonna need to see a psychologist because you may be having a bad instance of psychosis right now. It's only happened to me once and, um, well, it's not much different than my day-to-day -day life, so we'll leave it at that. I love that they left this here because it's obvious that they were drunk. They thought it would be so funny. People, when they're drunk, they think what they come up with is the funniest thing. Give a white man a drink of alcohol, put him up on stage, and he will believe he's a stand-up comic, but it'll be like Joker. He'll, he'll think everyone's laughing at him. <laughs> This is why white men relate to Joker so much. Like, this joke is just so funny. <laughs> they will go up on stage and think everyone's laughing. In reality, everyone's like, he's bombing so bad. He's like, airplanes, am I right? Airplanes. They really do be loud though. <laughs> Gotta get those noise canceling headphones. <laughs> so that no one hears me in the bathroom. <laughs> Crying. Someone said, probably one of your neighbors, the fact that it's a glass, not a bottle or can would suggest to someone who lives pretty close to you. It also looks like a Maker's Mark bourbon snowflake glass, not a bar or restaurant glass. Holy shit, we got a detective on the case, boys. Redditors, they'll tell you whatever you didn't want to know. <laughs> I will never understand people who steal packages. You have no idea what's even in there. It could be a dildo for all, all we know. What, are you going to use that? I hope not, but like, I mean, it is new, but you, still. Chase attempts to withdraw $99 billion from my checking account, it's still on hold. Your account is overdrawn, but you may be able to take action to avoid overdraw. <laughs> Minus 99 billion, 999 million, 997,834, and 99 cents. Banks will do shit like this, and then they will still find a way to make it your fault. <laughs> Sorry we withdraw, you know, 99 billion from your account. We got you confused with Mr. Musk account, you know? Sorry, but you're still gonna have to pay that, right? So just deposit 100 billion, easy, exactly. What are you, some poor fuck? <laughs> Scroll past this post. I'm getting the poorness is 
seeping through. I just realized I didn't even label the last ones that we read at whether they were mildly infuriating or not. Okay, the wine glass. I would say that's actually infuriating. I would be very upset if my package got stolen, but I would drop it down to mildly infuriating because it's funny that they left the glass of scotch there. Okay, the Chase Bank one, I would say that's actually infuriating. I don't know. We have different definitions of what mildly infuriating is. Okay. Okay. So this one saved this to my cart yesterday, but decided to wait until today to buy it, to get a sale price on Amazon prime day. If you are buying stuff of Amazon, I'm as am, 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 if you are buying things during Amazon prime day, you already too, too far gone. Usually what they do for things like this, like for black Friday is they'll slowly bring the price up and up and up like the week before black Friday, right? It'll be like $110 for something. And then the week after on black Friday, it's 70 bucks like this. Amazon basics upholstered tufted storage Ottoman. I'm, I'm Amazon. If you're going to scam people, at least do a good job of it. Try at least put a little bit of effort into scamming people if you're going to do it. The fact that this fucking Ottoman is $70 period and it's an Amazon basics Ottoman. Brother, you're getting scammed no matter which way you buy it. That thing probably costs $5 to make. I can assure you that and it was probably made by 10, 12 year olds in some place in Asia. It's a hideous Ottoman too. Sorry. A 16 year old cut down the iconic tree at Sycamore Gap. Now, why did I say this? I'm going to offend some people, which is something that I do at least once in all of my videos. So no surprise there. I'm going to tell you all right now, I don't believe in corporal punishment. I truly don't believe in murdering someone because of what they did. I don't think it's our place to decide, but here's the big bot. Okay. Large voluptuous behind. Okay. VBL behind. If I saw this kid, it's on site. That's allegedly, I would never do anything to hurt someone. But hypothetically, but hypothetically speaking, now this is supposed to nine months ago. I believe this happened like a couple years ago. Why are we still here? and the kid was arrested for it, which, uh, good riddance, he should be in jail for the rest of his life. I don't care if he's 16, he should be treated and tried like an adult. There, it's one thing to be a kid and to like do kid things. How is cutting down an iconic landmark a kid thing? That What what were you doing when you were a kid, right? I don't know, I like smoke some weed. I did not go down, I'm not just like, oh, I'm gonna deforce this place. This is the gap between my generation and people who are younger than me. Sorry, I know I made a whole video about generational hatred, but here's the thing. I am built different than you. Young people, very young people, right? If any of you are watching, I kind of hope not, right? To be honest, I don't know why are you 13 and watching my videos, but okay. I don't discriminate though. You can watch them. Uh, just don't, uh, it's not my responsibility, right? Hashtag Billie Eilish. Not my responsibility. I don't even know where my train of thought was going. Um, I literally have no idea. I talk too much. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. I'm saying kids are getting more extreme nowadays. They have to do things that are like extremely becoming more and more fucked up because now it's like if your kid smokes pot it's like uh whatever johnny you know kids right okay some parents may not be like that but if your kid wants to have sex it's like okay just be safe right P the times are changing and kids are turning to more extreme things in acts of rebellion such as cutting down an iconic tree how old was this tree i believe it was over 100 years old next thing you know 14 year olds are going to be like starting wildfires in california because they have nothing better to do <laughs> lack of third place is my right guys <laughs> next video essay <laughs> I have such like a deep appreciation for nature. I think I am like genuinely very connected to the earth. Sorry, I can't say, say anything and be serious when I say it. Like it physically pains me that someone would cut down a tree this old. Okay, so this one I just saw about two weeks ago. This is so fucking funny. The Sycamore Gap tree thing, by the way, that's infuriating. That's like actually death sentence level bad, like I said. This one I saw the other day, box lunch from sandwich shop comes with a picture of a cookie rather than an actual cookie. This is 10th circle of how evil. <laughs> <laughs> Who thinks of this? Imagine it's made out of leather. It's a real leather cookie. And they're making these high quality cookie printouts. It would be cheaper to make the cookie. <laughs> this is crazy. This is not even mildly infuriating. I will find the factory where they made these and commit arson. I would, you know, just as an act of rebellion, by the way, this looks like it's cardboard. Still, I think it's more expensive than an actual fucking cookie, but okay. As an act of rebellion, an act against the system that oppresses us, the system of packaged sandwiches, that we have to pay for, for our lunch, okay? Because everyone should get free food. I would eat this fucking cardboard cookie. I would, I, and I would fucking enjoy it. I would take a video of myself and say, hey, this is a, an act of protest for the box sandwich store.
Eclipse will kill us. We all have someone like that. My stepdad will not let me remove this tin, this thin foil for the entire week because he thinks the Eclipse will kill us somehow. And now the entire apartment looks like a cave. The OP clarifies and said he was worried that once the moon went away, the sun's rays would go nuts and burn us alive. Because that makes sense. Does your stepdad know the amount of radiation you're exposed to just walking outside from the sun? Does he know that it would be uh, a deathly amount if there wasn't an ozone? on our earth. I cannot deal with people who deny like literal basic science. They genuinely believe that the earth, that the world is run by a bunch of blood fetus licking baby eater, baby fucker people. Okay. Whatever. The, I don't know. Whatever they're coming up with. Like I understand being a conspiracy theorist in the sense that like, oh, 9-11, right? That's me, right? <laughs> Not even just conspiracy theories, but genuinely like, you know, everything the government does is a, is a form of op oppression, right? That's like a radical belief. I don't even think it's a conspiracy theory though, but we're not getting into it. YouTube might get mad at me. Okay. I don't know how far gone you need to be to like get to the point where you're like, the earth is flat. I, I know that I wake up every day and I can see as the season changes, how th how the sun changes and everything else changes. And there's literally no explanation for that other than the earth is tilting. It's on a tilt, right? <laughs> there is no other way to explain that, but somehow I'm gonna find a way, oh, oh, the, the most convoluted way to explain that as well, to prove that the earth is flat because for some reason people are lying to us about the earth being flat because, uh, I don't know, just for fucking shits and giggles, right? My mom's a flat earther. She might not like that I'm saying this, but she is. I don't know how far gone you can get to that point where you genuinely believe that. And I argue with her about this all the time. And I always ask her, I'm like, okay, explain how, uh, you know, from us, the sun rises over here in the summertime and then it sets all the way over there, right? Cause the earth is tilted closer to it and the days are longer literally because of where the sun is going but then in this winter time it rises over there and sets all the way over there how is that possible if the earth's earth is not tilting and she she every time i ask her she's like well you'd have to watch the videos i watch i'm like maybe you should have believed in something if you can't debate it because <laughs> i'll tell you everything that i have a strong opinion on i can debate it at least decently well to the point where i could, I could get by right if you can't even we're not even debating if you can't even explain something to me why you believe something girl cop came in and left their gun in the bathroom at my job this cop came in and was shopping went to the west room and then left i'm the manager on duty and i get a call asking me to go to the bathroom and check if there was a gun left it was sitting on the baby changer i work at in a kid oriented store now why the fuck is a cop going in on duty in full uniform to go shopping i understand some uh, some cops do have like really long hours maybe that's the only time you can go in i don't know i understand i still hate you but I understand stuff like that right and then people are like yeah i trust the police yeah i trust him with my life actually guys guys we're so cooked my cousin and her kid are staying with us for a while this is what she usually gives her five-year-old son for breakfast now motherfucker i know you set this shit up i know this guy took out a hershey's bar took two bites out of it like a psychopath popped up a fucking what is this aldo's world tv video on his little ipad and he's just like this would be really funny if i post this to reddit i know redditors like you who will Set up the most elaborate thing ever just to get a little bit of Reddit fame. And you got 84,000 upvotes. Not to mention the mess she allows him to make that, although she does clean up after him, it's not fun living in what seems like a consistently dirty home. She cleans at bedtime. It's a mess by noon. Let me see the text on this video. Do not drink Grimace Shake outside the Grimace house. If you see Grimace outside of your house, run. High quality content. That's what I'm gonna pivot to. Once I get canceled inevitably, someone will blow something out of proportion. Guys, at that point, I'm just gonna start making child content. I'm just gonna be like, just the most fake thing ever. And a five-year-old is just gonna watch it be like, <laughs> frothing at the mouth while eating his little Hershey bar for breakfast because people don't have enough money for food. <laughs> I think it'd be really funny if this mom had the time, money and resources to take care of the kid, but just decided to just be like, fuck you, little Timmy. Eat this fucking Hershey bar for breakfast. I don't give a damn. This is what our kids are watching. This is why the next generation is doomed. Is that even a lie though anymore? <laughs> Ask a stranger to film my jump and this is what he sent me. <laughs> First of all, I don't trust strangers. The next thing he's gonna do is touch you where you don't wanna be touched. Second of all, I feel like I would have better luck asking a stranger to film me than my mom. Whenever you see something where I'm not holding the camera and the camera is moving, my mom is filming it. I want you all to know that after a lot of arguing, yelling at each other, that finally got done. After a lot of me over explaining what I needed her to do, that's how that video was produced. I tell her, hold the camera here. I'm going to walk towards it um, and don't do anything. And she will find a way to move the camera in ways that I did not ask for. I think she's weaponizing a little bit of in incompetence for me. That's another video topic. Okay. I think she's weaponizing some of her incompetence. Girl, I know you can hold that camera. Sometimes I feel like FedEx drivers just 
do this kind of stuff because they think it's funny. We are here, ring the bell. Oh, sorry we couldn't get to you. We will make another attempt. Must be present for package delivery. I don't know what they expect from you. First of all, to answer your question, yes, I think they do. I think it depending on what your package that you're getting is. Like if you have a box of Sudafed coming and you really, really need it immediately, I would say this would be infuriating. But if it's just something stupid that you ordered, it mildly infuriating, okay? Do they expect you to like sit out, camp out in front of your front door? Like you're waiting for a fucking console release. Bring a fucking uh, bedpan out there too. Just piss out there. And when he comes and sees your pit and sh piss and shit all gathered underneath you in a bucket and he screams and runs away, say, hey, I'm here. You better give me that package. That's what you have to start doing to counteract FedExers and UPS men leaving. I would highly suggest that. Just piss and shit all over the front door and sit in it and wait. This is why, I mean, I can do this because I... I'm at home the majority of the time, but if I know that there's a package coming I need to sign for, bitch, I'm on high alert all day. I'm looking out the window, I'm like, where are they? If I hear like a slight little rumbling, I'm like a toff from Avatar The Last Airbender. I'm like, <gasps> I could feel the vibrations of the truck coming six miles down the road, and I'm like, that's FedEx, I know it is. And I will run down there and I will catch that guy before he can run away. This woman's charger in my row during a six plus hour red eye flight. What is a red eye flight? A red eye flight is a commercial flight that either departs at night and arrives at its destination the following morning, typically after 9 p.m. or 4:05 a.m. Oh, okay, so you guys are flying at night. I probably could have deduced that um, if I had any problem solving skills, but I don't, so. I, I am of the opinion that you should never film people in public, but this person did not get her face in it, so I think she is allowed to be shamed. It's not even the fact that you guys are on a flight in the middle of the night. It's the fact that who the fuck would buy a charger like this unless they were a boomer? How obnoxious do you have to be to get a charger that lights up? Hey, you know that's using more of your energy, right? In what instance do you need a charger that lights up? This is the consumerist culture we live in. I'm, I'm sickening. It's sickening. My wife's 30th birthday cake confusion. So the cake says hinty. I didn't, that's not a word. So we see writing on cake, it's 30 in cursive. This is what's wrong with the new generation. I'm finding every reason to shit on young people nowadays. I am young. I also get shit on for being young. But I'm talking about like 10 year olds right now. Because a 10 year old must have made this cake. Because how are you old enough to be a cake decorator, but you can't read cursive? That's a cursive T, H, I. That's a cursive R, T, Y. Okay? People always joke about how Gen Z doesn't know how to write cursive. I learned cursive when I was in elementary school and I can write it. I actually prefer to write in cursive because it's fucking easier. <laughs> it's so much easier to write in a fluid line than to pick the pen up every five seconds to write something. If I'm journaling, I'm writing in cursive. And I'm not gonna show you my journal because Jesus, if I did, I'd be in jail right now. Can't share that. But if I'm writing in a continuous line, it's so much quicker. It's faster to get my thoughts down on a page. I can read what I write, kind of. I guess mint green cake with spring flowers glitter. Like I can read all that. How does it get to the drawing board, first of all? And then you're like, it must say hinty. And you write it on the cake. The level of idiocy that some people have. <laughs> but it is funny. I would appreciate it. anyone just giving me a cake, period. What the f why is my LG washing machine using 3.6 gigabytes of data a day? Smart appliances were a mistake. This is infuriating. I saved this because I propose a question to all of you. Why the f does a washing machine need to be smart? I'm like actually getting pissed off about this. You know what our washing machine does? It cleans the clothes. You throw clothes in there. You put it on high or low, medium, heavy load. You put it on hot, cold, tap cold, warm, whatever. You put it on, is it heavy sheets? Is it normal? Is it light? Is it a light wash? Maybe you turn on the fabric softener and you put the detergent in. You put the fabric softener in if you're using it and you put it in and you turn it on. But what the f else does the washing machine need to do? So I honestly think that we are going in a worser direction sometimes. We're making things too complicated than they need to be. And I will die on the ground. I don't, I'm not even, I don't feel bad for you. Why did you buy an LG washing machine, first of all? Second of all, why did you buy a smart washing machine? Just buy a normal washing machine. They still exist. I, I honest to God would not want to buy a new car nowadays. I would rather buy a used car that does not have all the electronics because one thing goes wrong and then suddenly you have to pay $2,000 to fix your windshield wipers because, well, it has the smart uh, appliances hooked up to the windshield wipe wipers. So there's just this little electronic thing that's broken and we, we can't change them unless you fix that and it costs $2,000. Like the only bad things that could happen in my car is like the transmission goes, the axles, not many other things that could go wrong in my car that are so detrimental. My car is from 2007, by the way, so detrimental to where I would have to pay thousands of dollars to fix it. What what does a car need to do? It needs to move. It needs to be safe when you get in a crash, right? Which Volkswagens are very good at. Let me tell you, German engineering is the finest. So all my Germans watching, what does a car need to do except for like, you know, tell you your speed, go somewhere, have good gas, windshield wipers, use your lights need to work, comfortable to sit in, it looks aesthetically pleasing. What else does a car need to do? Because I'll tell you what, your car does not need to tell you like, hey, someone's there. Hey, yeah, I can see. I'm not blind. I didn't know blind people could drive cars now. I'm, I'm driving on the highway. 
I don't need uh, something to tell me that someone's there. I look in the mirror and then I do a quick glance. Is someone there? If someone's in my blind spot, I don't move. People are like relying on things too much when they should just know how to drive. Learn to use your mirrors. Learn to understand your car in a three-dimensional space if you're too close to something. I, I, I'm getting upset now because it's so stupid. Okay. I gotta do that. Walked outside this morning to find someone dumped their low country boil on the trunk of my car in the middle of the night for whatever reason. That's like a crime scene. That looks like a mangled child's body. Like that could be if you saw it from afar. Like if I saw it from afar, my first instinct would be like someone defleshed a human being and left their bones on my car. What a disturbing sight. How do you even deal with that? What would, what, how do you even respond to that? Either someone was drunk and just like threw everything on there. But here's the thing. They either have had to been carrying a huge plate with them or had all that in their hands. Ugh, ugh, I hate crap. This is like a vendetta against you because there's no way someone just was like walking past your car on the street because there's not even a sidewalk right there. They were walking past your car and just decided, oh, just put it here when they could very well throw it on the ground. They, this was intentional. Someone was like, fuck this guy. You know, he always parks here with his stupid white car with the little spoiler in the back. Fuck you. I'll show you a spoiler. Okay, I'll show you a spoiler. Covered in my crabs. My pubic crabs, okay? <laughs> all right, this one I saved because I have a, all of these I just saved because I have a story time associated with all of them. This is why I love these videos because they're like little story time. You learn a little more about me. <laughs> you don't want to really know too much, but you can know a little bit, okay? My neighbor insisted on her dog meeting mine after I told her that she's not friendly several times. I'm not even gonna read the bulk of this because dude, you wrote too much shit. R slash, I'm not reading all that, okay? The only reason I say this is because I want to make it very clear that dog owners are some of the most entitled people on planet Earth. First of all, half the time they don't train their dogs. Okay, let's get that out of the way. So they take their dog out in public. They're like, they're friendly, don't worry. And then they literally bite little Johnny's arm off. And it's like, well, now Johnny doesn't have an arm and he's bleeding to death. Okay. And what I hate is how commodified dogs are. Like they're seen as an object instead of a living being that is like a child that you have to take care of. It is the stress of having a child. Similar. I'm not saying it's the same thing, but it's similar. And people will just give dogs as gifts. It's like, that's a, that's a living thing you have to take care of for 10 years minimum. Like I love her. If I go somewhere, I have to like think, okay, what am I going to do with COVID? W what if I want to go on vacation and can't afford that. But right. If I wanted to, what am I going to do with her for a week? I would consider myself, I'm like a pick me dog owner. I'm like, guys, oh, don't worry. I'm like you. I have a cat too. Okay. I am normal. I train my dog. Okay. She's a good dog. I recognize that she's overstimulated a lot of the time and certain situations not to bring her in and stuff okay what also pisses me off is people who like dogs they think that just because you have a cute little i like a cute little golden machine so she's friendly and nice and yes yeah, she's friendly but like don't approach me in public if you approach her in public she will freak out at first of all ask second of all if i say no don't be like oh well okay do you bitch you're not entitled to my dog just because i'm out in public with her imagine if you did that to like a child you're like hey can i like touch your kid what <laughs> All right, yeah, we're gonna end it there. So yeah, that's it for me. That's it for this video. Let me all know what you thought about this video. Did you find any of these posts infuriating, mildly infuriating? Let me know what you would classify them as. What's the most mildly, like, I mean, truly mildly infuriating. Like, it's like, what? Why'd you do that? But not like to the point where you want to kill yourself. Let me know what's that sort of thing that's ever happened to you, okay? If you like this video, you give it a thumbs up. If you like me, you can subscribe. I post comedy and commentary videos, I guess, about whatever I want to talk about. So if that sounds like your thing, make sure to subscribe and turn the notification bell so you know when I post a video. Before the video ends, I have to give a special shout out to my one Patreon member on my Patreon Alpha tier. On my Alpha tier, one of the listed benefits is that I will explicitly shout you out at the end of every single YouTube video I make. So that's what I'm doing right now to Zelkova Salts. You are the true Alpha. You are the true Snoop D-O-double-G. You know I'm mobbing with the D-R-E. Dr. Dre, motherfucker. Thank you for your support, seriously. Uh, I really, really hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, more importantly, I really, really hope I see you in the next video. Truthfully, you better be there, because if you're not, I'm going to be really mad. So you'll be there in the next video, right? Okay, bye. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up.